Gathering House, Enoch Architects, Kraus Bricks. Gathering House, as the name suggests, was designed to be a welcoming sanctuary for family and friends to gather. The brief to accommodate lots of people on a regular basis was infused with the challenge of creating warm, inviting spaces that were well suited to intimate family moments. Sharply crafted, triangulated brick piers direct views between rooms and into the landscape. Masonry's timeless quality also forms a symbiotic relationship with the surrounding greenery. Gathering House will gracefully age thanks to the design philosophy that underpinned the project. Namely, prioritising sustainable planning, natural materials, high-performance products and built-to-last construction methods. Waterloo Street, SJB, Kraus Bricks. Waterloo Street is a little house freed of the small house typology. With a footprint of 30 square metres and a facade of recycled and broken brick, the property playfully engages with the street through the arrangement and geometry of its openings. Externally, the dwelling is playful and textured. A little like a house from a Jacques Tati film, the facade feels alive with personality. Reclaimed bricks form the canvas. Discarded broken ones reflect the historic sandstone base of the surrounding streets, while the upper bricks shift in scale to frame windows and support planting. Most materials used on the project were locally sourced, enabling everyone who engaged with the project to directly understand the supply chain. Ultimately, the house is about sustainability, doing more with less, reusing a site, repurposing materials, and reimagining ways to create well-connected places. Mary Street House, Edition Office, Kraus Bricks. Mary Street House is a reimagining of a well-worn Federation era home. Open to three sides and the northern sun, it needed to overcome design challenges caused by the fact it faces a busy arterial road. Softly finished recycled brick walls frame the new social spaces of the house, creating a sequence of indoor and outdoor rooms within the boundaries of the property. Brick paving continues the material immersion within the outdoor spaces. A pair of enigmatic brick volumes rest atop the planted concrete roof of the new wing. One volume extending out from the original roof's ridge of terracotta tiles houses the principal bedroom suite and private courtyard garden. The other holds a small studio. Shakespeare Grove, VE Architecture. Shakespeare Grove is a new house situated within a heritage precinct, thus requiring it to sit comfortably among neighbouring Victorian buildings. That said, it takes its cues from European and Asian mid-century modernists, not its neighbours. It is a house of two disparate sections, unified and strengthened by details and the rigour of material choice. The bricklaying technique required the mortar to be overlaid and rubbed off when semi-dry with another brick, creating a natural grout surface flush with the masonry. Bricks are emphasised as the single defining material of the project. They have been pushed beyond their normal applications in the stepped curve of the facade and the front balcony's arched ceiling. These are strong, simple forms with a casual application but they required intricate mitering and precision techniques to be realised. Coleman Bajrovic Residence, Klopper and Davis Architects, Austral Bricks, Bowral Bricks. Brickwork plays a starring role in this welcome addition to a streetscape that is already renowned for its heritage, value and character. Built for a couple and their son, the two-storey Coleman Bajrovic residence features a striking, yet contextually appropriate, butterfly roof 
which floats over a series of simple brick boxes. These volumes are elevated by the use of bespoke white face bricks, beautifully raked joints, and a variety of sill and header course treatments. Intricate details and quality artisanship abound in this project, which was a labour of love and a successful collaboration between the clients, architect and builder.